So I wanted to talk a little bit about um, something I've seen a couple uh, cases of recently, and um, I had one just the other day actually, um, and it um, it's entrapment of the common peroneal nerve. So um, it's my leg, obviously. There's a little bump right here, um, which is right there, and that's the the top of the fibula, which is the bone that travels down your leg. And it's not uncommon for, there's a nerve that kind of comes around the corner here and comes into the into the front of your leg here and it can get hung up as it travels around this bone. And what it does then, it makes you have numbness kind of down in this area here. Um, and it can go down into the foot, actually. And it's not, it doesn't really hurt, although it can cause some sort of, um, like a dull aching pain in that area. But um, it's annoying and it makes it so that the muscle... The muscles in that area so you have um, muscles that make your foot kind of flatten out and turn side to side and then also help your 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 ankle dorsiflex so your your toes come up towards your your face now um, if you're doing you know, if you're just walking that's usually not a big deal but if you have if you're trying to do any kind of athletic sport um, or activity um, that requires power through the foot um, having that inhibition there can make it so that the muscles um, act in a dysfunctional way and it may not necessarily limit you uh, from a pain standpoint but if your muscle is having to deal with those uh, with with feelings of in inhibition or numbness in that area they aren't going to react like they should um, the muscles in that area should be able to make your foot move and make your foot go up and down um, stabilize you from a balance standpoint but they can't if it's if uh, the nerve is impinged so uh, it's a pretty easy problem to treat. We use um, hydrodissection, which is a technique where we um, can, can I can look at the nerve. I can see it come around the um, come around the bone there, and um, basically it it comes around the bone and then it splits into two. And I'll um, I'll show some further images that make it so it's easier for you guys to understand what I'm talking about. But as it comes around the bone and splits there. Um, I go in, basically I can see the nerve, use an ultrasound to guide a needle to the area where the nerve is, and then put fluid around the nerve, starting um, where the problem, below the knee, and then track the fluid up around the bone. So um, it's a pretty good trick. It help, like, the, the, the improvement is almost immediate in, in, in a lot of cases. Um, uh, you can, it, it feels so good. I had actually done it myself. Um, I had the same problem, and it feels like this, the itch that's deep inside that you've been trying to, <laughs> trying to get to forever is finally getting scratched. So, um, and then the area where the nerve innervates um, starts kind of feeling tingly, and, and then it starts getting, I guess itchy is the best way to describe it, um, as the sensation improves in that area. And then I noticed that, personally, I was able to move my ankle a lot more effectively um, once I had that done, so... Um, it was one treatment and it was curative for me. Um, sometimes that's not always the case, kind of depends on what else is going on. Um, but it's often that hydrodissection, you get really good results that, that last kind of, um, for, for months, if not years. Um, and this one is, is one of those cases. So, so this is obviously, um, leg and a knee actually, you can see the back of the knee, there's a nerve. That kind of comes out on the side there. I'm going to zoom in on it. Um, it's right there, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, tap on it, and unfortunately that dialog box pops up. But it kind of gives you an idea of the area that we're working in.